Hello everyone, welcome back to Simulated Heaven. Hope you're doing well. Have you ever tried using Farm Simulator 22 with the Toby Eye Tracker 5? I know I have, and it's not very good. Because for some reason, which I have no idea why they set it up like this, uh, the Farm Sim devs basically only allow you the ability to enable or disable the eye tracking but they don't actually give you any way to configure it in any way so it isn't very good in the default state unfortunately so the way that I'm able to get around with this around with this around this is I use the open track utility it's an open source utility that you can use and you basically have to have it running in the background while you play the game and it will make it way way better so I will leave a description I will leave a link in the description for open track they have a github it's very easy for you to find it if you do a, a google search as well for open track then if you just find over here on the right hand side where it says releases and you click there automatically it will show the the latest version here at the top you go down you find the win32 setup exe and you click that save it on your complete computer wow i really can't speak today then you run that and you install the software as you usually would install any software and then when you run the software you will get something that looks like this um, so basically then you need to come here for the input and find where it says the Toby eye tracker and you choose that I have the output on free track and I find that works really well I have the filter as the Akella filter and again I find that works really well um, the big thing is you need to come into the the mapping here because if you leave it at the defaults it's very hard for you to see behind you when you're in a tractor which is not very handy when you need to attach things or you need to reverse so all I've done is basically under your I have added a couple of points here one of them is value 18 by value 88 and the other one is value 25 by 180 and I can show you how how you do that if I show you under the the pitch but it's exactly the same under your so if I want to make this 18 88 one well the 18 is somewhere here so I just need to click where I think that the 18 is right and you can see that there is a a tool tip that all of the time shows you which value you're uh, you are on so it's on 18 by 22 right now so you just need to use this and recreate the your that I have here one of the points at 1888 and one of the points at 25 180 and then that will be the perfect setup for farm sim um, and then if you if you click start here and then it's very important that you have this running in the background and then you start up your farm sim game so right now I'm just going to show you a little bit of footage of me driving around in a tractor using the open track and the Toby eye tracker 5 see you in a little bit hello everyone welcome back I forgot to say one thing I'll say it very quickly that it's very important for you to go into options and to bind a key for the center shortcut what that basic basically does is when you first get into a vehicle in this game if you find that the the tracking you know the camera is what like all over the place it's a bit too high up or 
uh, far down or whatever if you click this button it will recenter the view back into the the middle so this is really helpful as well and I forgot to say earlier thank you hello everyone welcome back to farm sim so I am just going to drive around in this tractor to show you what the uh, what the tracking is like when I'm driving a tractor and why I like it so much so yeah using the open track with the Toby I track of five whatever it's called for me it gives a really good immersive feeling so while I'm driving my tractor if I need to look left look I can look left it's very smooth I can look right again very smooth and I can even look behind me without too much hassle so yeah that's why the settings that I showed you earlier that's why I really like them of course you could actually play around with the settings with the mappings yourself and see if you can find something that you that you prefer but it I think that the most important thing to say is it actually works in this game now and it actually works well in this game whereas if you use the default it's very all over the place right so this is uh, yeah this is really good let's just drive around a little bit more so you can see how it goes I nearly crashed into the sign someone seems to be playing a piano or something So yeah, it really really adds to the immersion in this game. You can kind of look into the corners before you get there. And I think I forgot to change my <laughs> steering wheel settings. I think they're still on another game. But anyway, besides the point, that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is to show how the tracking is. And as you can hopefully see, you know, it was working pretty well. And it really, really helps you when you are driving your tractor around the farm. See? Definitely makes things pretty easy. Especially when reversing. So there you go. Hopefully that helps. Thank you for watching.